Welcome back, Math 20. Let's jump into Chapter 2, Functions. So our first section is just remi reminding each other um, what a function is. We've probably heard this word, but maybe we need a little bit of a refresher. So a function is a, it goes from set x to set y. So I have set x and set y. Sets are just like these groups of numbers. Um, and it's a rule. It's going to take an element from x and it's going to assign it an element in y that we usually call f of x or y. Um, sometimes we can write f from x to y. Essentially, it's saying we're going from x and we're outputting y. Um, we call x, the set x is our domain, so we take things from the domain we like put this in the machine, the function's like a machine. It does something to x and then it outputs it in y, which is the range. Um, we read it f of x, right? It's not f times x, it's f of x. And then um, y is called the dependent or output. And then x is the independent. or the input. So basically we're inputting this thing into a machine and then we're outputting y. So we'll talk about that as we evaluate functions. So inside the parentheses are my inputs. So 2, 0, and negative 1 are my inputs or my x's. And we're going to put these into our function machine and then we're going to output a new number. So f of 2 means we input 2. So we're going to plug in 2 everywhere we see x. Anytime it's more than a single x, I put parentheses. So like x squared, I'll put two parentheses squared. <clears throat> and so let's see, we get two over four plus one or two fifths. So that's my y value or my output. So we plug two into the machine and it outputs two fifths. Let's try zero. If you're feeling confident, go ahead and plug it in. And we get 0 over 1, which is 0. So my input and my output happen to both be 0 here. And let's try negative 1. This is why parentheses are important, which I didn't do for the 0. We're squaring negative 1, so we need to keep that in mind. So we get negative 1. In the denominator, we get negative 1 squared is 1 plus 1. So negative 1 half is my output or my y value. And so that's a function. We just plug in to evaluate. Um, it doesn't have to be the letter F. We can use lots of letters. Um, g of u means we're going to input u and we're going to output g of u, whatever that is. So here's our function. Let's input 0 for u, negative 1, and 8. So g of 0 means we get 0 plus 1 in parentheses to the 3 halves. So we get 1 to the 3 halves, and then even if you don't remember a 3 halves power, 1 to any power is 1. So my output is 1. I'm going to box them all. It looks nicer. So let's try negative 1. So we get 0 to the 3 halves, and 0 to any power is 0. And let's try 8. This will be a good refresher on powers on this last one. So we get 8 plus 1 is 9 to the 3 halves. And so many of us probably don't remember these powers. So I like to do 1 half and then 3, because 3 times 1 half, or 1 half times 3, is 3 halves, and it's usually easier to do the fraction power on the inside. And then if we remember, and if not, here we go, um, 1 half powers are the same as square roots. So we know the square root of 9 is 3, so then we'll say 3 cubed, which is 27. So that's the easier way to do fraction powers, is break it up into two powers. Let me know if you need more review on that. 
Otherwise, we're going to check out some other function stuff. Um, so let's go a little bit backwards and let's see. Now we know f of 3 equals 5. So x is 3, y is 5. And we want to figure out what function makes it true. So basically, we have this quadratic, but we don't know what k is. So k times x squared minus x minus 1. k is unknown. But I know if I plug in 3, I should output 5. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that 3 in. So k times 3 squared minus 3 minus 1. And we know that equals 5. So I plugged in 3 for the x's. And we know the output is 5, the whole function. So let's simplify. Um, I get 9k minus 3 minus 1 is 5. Or 9k minus 4 is 5. Um, so let's add 4. So 9k is 9. So k is 1. And so our function would be this function where k equals 1. So it would just be x squared minus x minus 1. And in this case, f of 3 is 5. So we'll do domain in the next video.